As a sales consultant, the number one objection that you'll hear from a customer when you ask for the sale is, I want to think about it. Let's be clear. There are situations that no matter how well you have treated your customer, and no matter how well you have presented and demonstrated your vehicle, there are just those people that will need or want to go home and think about it. You may still sell them a vehicle on a different day. However, let's also acknowledge that there are many people that indicate that they want to go home and think about it, when in fact they may be fully prepared to buy a vehicle at your first meeting. Some customers feel that they should always indicate that they're not ready to buy as not to look too easy and to be taken advantage of by a sales consultant. Other customers feel that they should say, no, I want to think about it when asked to buy a vehicle in order to pressure the sales consultant and dealership into giving them a discount or a deal. And there are other customers that are apprehensive. They want to buy, but there may be something holding them back. Because today's customers are hyper-informed and often ready to buy on their first visit, it is imperative to determine the difference between people that truly have to go home and think about it versus those customers that have a hidden concern or may just need a gentle nudge to say yes. Remember, there are many more customers that are now prepared to buy on their first visit. Your job as a professional sales consultant is to determine whether I want to think about it is a real objection or simply a statement that is masking a hidden concern. The following five reasons close will help you determine what your customer's true concern is, which will enable you to then provide a solution. Note in the role play simulation that I'll be using a simple document as a visual tool to keep the customer's focus, and more importantly, to help them isolate and identify their concern. If you'd like this closing tool and others, look for my email address at the end of the success tip and I will gladly email them to you. John, now that we've returned from the demonstration drive, what I'd like to do is turn our focus to the software and I'm going to prepare for you some various different payment options on this vehicle. And maybe I could ask you this. If we were able to come up with a payment that fit your lifestyle, that really spoke to you, would you consider going ahead with this vehicle? Well, Chris, I'm concerned about the trade value, the payment, and I really wasn't planning on doing anything today. It's a big decision, and this is something I'd really need to, to think about before I move forward. I, I can certainly understand. Uh, it is a big decision, and um, well, sometimes we forget that here at the dealership. Myself, my colleagues, we, we sell cars almost every day. So I do, in fact, understand. But John, just before you leave, uh, I'd like to share with you that there are typically five reasons why a customer may want to go home and think things over. Could I share them with you? Sure. Great. And I've actually prepared them on a little document uh, because we have this discussion so often. Uh, first is time. Simply, there's no time to tidy up the details. Secondly, the customer is simply not comfortable with the sales consultant. The sales consultant has not provided the information or level of service that the customer is comfortable with. Third is the vehicle. The customer is simply not happy with some aspect of the vehicle chosen. Fourth, Decision makers. All of the decision makers may not be present in order to proceed. And fifth, money. The customer may have some concerns about either the price of the vehicle, the monthly payment, or the trade in value. John, maybe I could ask you before you leave today, which one of these might be your concern? Well, it's definitely the payment. I'm really concerned about that. I, I thought so, and it is probably for most people. So allow me to ask you this. If we were able to come up with a monthly payment that you were pleased with, could we tempt you at the very least? Well, it'd have to be awfully good. I'll have a, have a look at it, but I'm not promising. I can't ask for anything more. Now that you know what your customer's concern or objection is, you can ask for the sale a second time. Visit with your sales manager and work towards providing a solution. I'm Chris Schultes.